And now to our southern border, where agents say a surge of Chinese nationals are being apprehended. That happening as the overall number of migrant encounters continues rising. New numbers first obtained by News Nation show more than 242,000 people crossed into the U.S. in November, which is an increase of 5% from October. And a new News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll shows border security is a top priority for Republican voters. More than half of those polled say the border is the most important issue, and almost half support building a border wall. Correspondent Ali Bradley is live for us at the border. And Ali, let's focus on this surge of Chinese migrants. How big of a problem is this becoming? Yeah, it's pretty big here, Nicole. News Nation can report that we've seen hundreds of Chinese nationals crossing into a couple of different camps in Chacumba Hot Springs. That's in San Diego County. So we do have some new numbers here of this spike that we're seeing. They're crossing illegally into the U.S. And this is what we've learned just two months into this fiscal year, which started in October. We've already seen more than 9,800 encounters with people from China seeking uh, to be in the United States here. That's compared to over 24,000 for all of last year. So we're seeing a sizable increase here. And News Nation was rolling as these migrants crossed into this area. Take a look at this video here that we were able to obtain where a massive group of Chinese nationals were being processed by Border Patrol agents. The majority of them, as you can see, are single adult men. So hundreds of Chinese migrants are already living in these makeshift camps waiting to be processed by agents. Many say that they want to get away from the Chinese communist government and they hope to be granted asylum here in the United States. Bian is from Vietnam. Her husband is from China. The couple says that they traveled through seven different countries in order to get here. The Chinese migration is fueled by Chinese social apps like WeChat. And apparently that instructs migrants on how to make this trip from China to the United States. The majority of Chinese migrants, just like migrants from around the world, fly to Ecuador because a South American country does not require a travel visa from Chinese citizens. Now, in the first nine months of this year, over 15,000 Chinese migrants traveled through the dangerous Darien Gap jungle in Panama that is controlled by criminal groups. Chinese migrants are not subject to the same vigorous vetting that migrants from countries considered special interest are. The reason? Officials tell me it's all about politics. Still, the concern, once again, is a potential threat from unknowns crossing into the United States, something FBI Director Christopher Wray discussed today at a congressional oversight hearing. Take a listen. Again, the, as you say, there's the unknown unknown and the known unknown. Right. Um, but what I can tell you is that our 56 Joint Terrorism Task Forces are working their tails off to make sure that they suss out and identify potential terrorist suspects, whether they're on the watch list or not. Okay, so again, News Nation can confirm here that exclusively almost a quarter of a million migrants crossed into the United States last month alone. The San Diego County Board of Supervisors, meanwhile, where that video was taken, they've actually approved an emergency funding of $3 million for emergency shelters there. They're meeting today to discuss if that number will be increased to $6 million. Nicole. All right, Ali Bradley, live for us there in along the border. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.